Hi everybody, this is Abby with Scrap and Abby and I am beyond excited for this video. As you guys can see from the bag on my desk, the Hobby Lobby, the very first Hobby Lobby in Oregon has finally opened after like a year and a half almost of you know waiting for it to finally get open everything get approved so yesterday um the 5th of june was the soft opening and of course i had to go my husband actually um sent me a message and said you're going after work right here's some coupons and i'm like score i'm definitely going so he, he just knew i wanted to go so bad so after work i came home got my daughter and we went and it really wasn't that crowded like i thought it was going to be and i think it's because there's so much going on right now we have a lot of graduations and it was kind of you know in the middle of the week and then the official grand opening is on Monday June 9th and that's gonna be like a ribbon cutting ceremony and they're gonna have cake and that kind of stuff so I'm thinking that's gonna be probably a little bit more of a bigger crowded event at that point so I was really excited that I got in um, granted there was lots of people there but it wasn't as crazy I was expecting it to be like Black Friday crazy or something but it wasn't um, for now anyway so anyway so i was just so excited because i told you guys before in other videos it was almost a year ago the very first hobby lobby i've ever been in was up in washington state um we were at a family wedding and my our relatives there said hey we're going to go to hobby lobby i'm like what because i had never been before so i was so excited so um it's just i'm excited because i always see all of you other guys and crafters out there sharing hauls and stuff from hobby lobby and and crafting things that are unique to hobby lobby only and i've been so jealous for so long i'm just like man and i'm just beyond excited because now i can get on the hobby lobby um, haul train as well. So let me go ahead and get started with you guys and share with you. Now I didn't go too crazy banana nut cakes, you know, because I, I didn't, but I did get some good stuff. So I'll share that with you guys here. All right. So first of all, um, let me just kind of grab some things out. So I grabbed some flowers and these are the spare parts. And I know you guys are probably like, we've already seen those. We already have them. But again, this is new to me because I've never had a Hobby Lobby in Oregon. It's 20 minutes from where I live. So um, anyway, all of the spare parts stuff and all the Hobby Lobby brand stuff was all 50% off. So they only had two packs of the purple left. So I grabbed those and I think these are so pretty. I love them, love them, love the font and the scripts and the text on the flowers. And they're purple, of course. That's my color. So I love that. And then I grabbed them in this kind of beige cream color um, packet. And I got white because I wanted to experiment with some sprays and um, gelatos and that kind of thing. Just to kind of see how their brand of flowers took to those types of mediums. The same thing with the white. I have a really cool idea in my head for Jesus already. So those are really pretty and fun. And then let's see here. And they're, um, like I said, all of the spare parts stuff was all 50% off. So I, I grabbed some of the resins. They didn't have a whole lot of these left because like I said, I didn't go. I went when it was already been open for about six hours. So a lot of the, you know, a lot of stuff was already kind of already gone. But um, this is a, you know, like a candelabra. And there's a chandelier. And you guys know I love shandies. Or maybe you don't, but I do. And there's like a, some gates, a fence, whatever. And then some feathers. I was going to get two packs at least of each of those because they were 50% off. But they were, like, there was only one of each. And a couple more flowers, more of the spare parts. I like these. These are pretty cool and unique. I don't remember seeing these before. I got white again so I could experiment with my different mediums. And then, of course, purple. So I grabbed some of those. Now, these weren't, like, necessarily on sale. And I know I can get these online or whatever. But I just grabbed these Prima stencils because I've been wanting these two. And it's awesome because now I don't have to pay for shipping when I go some, when I order stuff. Because I can just go to Albany now. And in within 20 minutes, I can be at Hobby Lobby and buy this stuff. So I got this one. My daughter picked this one out. She really liked it. She said it looked like something that I would really use. So and I don't know what the name of it is. They always just put item numbers on their stuff. I don't know why there's no names. But anyway. And then this doily one here. So I thought that was really cool. And I like those. And this isn't too exciting because you can get these anywhere. But I just grabbed a couple packs of these because I was needing some more. And um, this is more of the... Um, Hobby Lobby brand stuff that was 50% off and I got this huge spool of this really awesome um, butterfly. It's like a wire edge like on, um, you know, a, what's what I'm looking for? Not muslin, but you know, kind of like a burlapy. And I got this because my plan is to cut this apart and use these as individual butterflies on projects using my distress markers and that kind of thing. So I thought that'd be fun. And it was like, uh, let's see, it was uh, $4 for that big roll. And then this I was going to use my 40% coupon on because I've really wanted this for quite some time. And my Michaels and Joann's never have it. 
So, um, but I ended up getting something that was a little bit more expensive than this, and I used my coupon for that instead. So I'm excited to have this bow die because I've been looking for that one since it came out or it was shown in um, at CHA. And then this here is a home decor item. I'm not going to be keeping this red. It says I love us. I'm going to be altering this and hanging it to uh, next to um, some pictures of my husband and I that I've been working on some crafty uh, mixed media layouts. So that was fun, and that was only five bucks. It was half off. And I think there's only one thing I paid full price for, um, or actually three, the two stencils and then this pad of paper I'll share with you in just a second. This also was 50% um, off, so it was $5 for this big roll of this awesome kind of chevron print um, burlap, which my daughter also picked out as well. I think she wants to use some. <laughs> She's got good taste. Let's see if my, here we go. And then um, this here from the printery for, oh, I guess four things. I got two packs of paper that were not on sale, but Prima. Again, I grabbed this because my Michaels doesn't carry Prima paper and Joann's, I've never seen Prima paper, my Joann's anyway. And again, it's, you know, I always have to pay shipping on this kind of stuff. And it's not terribly expensive compared to a lot of people who live out of the, of the US. But, you know, if I don't have to pay for shipping, I don't want to. And so that's why I grabbed this because I really wanted to play with this. And if they would have had a 12 by 12, I would have grabbed it. So again, I know this isn't all new to a lot of you guys out there, but it's new to me because it's my first time I've get my hands on it, you know, in a store. This, um, I love Seven Gypsies. So this was in the clearance section. They had a massive clearance section. I'm like, what are they getting these things from? Because there was never a Hobby Lobby here before ever. So I don't know if they brought stuff in from other Hobby Lobbies out of the state or I don't know, but they had this stuff on clearance. So this is only six bucks for this Seven Gypsies pad, eight by eight. And I love it. It's not new, I know, but, you know, I've been wanting to play with this one because it's got some really cool map images on there. And then, oh, here's another. I thought I had another one. These are some bird cages right there. Pretty cool. And then here's some ribbon. These were 50% off. And I have to tell you guys, I see a lot of um, the Hobby Lobby hauls where you guys get this really awesome ribbons and trims from that are Hobby Lobby brand or you get at Hobby Lobby, and they didn't have any of them. It was just like, this is the same stuff I can see at Michael's and Joanne. So I was like, what? So anyway, so, but I got these because these were 50% off and they're really cute and I like them in purple, of course. So maybe once they get op past the grand opening or something, they'll have more of those kinds of, and I'm talking like the kind where I've seen like with this really pretty, like, you know, ruffle with like um, stitching on it or lace over it or, you know, the beaded trim. I didn't see any of that there. And I was like, mm, it's kind of a bummer. But I was in such a high, I didn't really care too much. And this is what I use my 40% off coupon on, the Liquitex uh, modeling paste, because I go through this stuff like you wouldn't even believe. And I was saw the price, I'm like, man, this stuff's always so pricey to me. But I, you know, use it goes a long way for me, because I use it on a lot of projects. So I end up um, only paying like 13 bucks or something for this. So, And that's usually what I do with my coupons, like from Michael's and Joann's. I'll buy all the golden mediums and that kind of stuff, because those things are never on sale. And then the last couple goodies that I bought, sorry for the noise, um, this was uh, $15, but, oh, I guess there's the paper studio. They said that the Hobby Lobby paper lines weren't on sale, but I this is still um, less than like I see the other stacks I get, and I've never seen this one before because it's Hobby Lobby specific. So I'm sure you guys, I'm going to have a hard time doing the flip through, so I'm not going to, but you can kind of see from the cover, and again, this might be something you guys have already seen and made stuff, and you're like, yawn, we already know about this, but you know, it's exciting to me. So my daughter wanted me to grab it because she um, she's 14. She bakes with her girlfriends and they come over. So And then I got this here, which is kind of crazy because I have actual a roll of this from the um, coastal, you know, kind of uh, farm store. But <laughs> I wanted this because I just did. <laughs> it was the last one and I'm kind of weird like that. I'm like, I have to have it. There's no more left. So I grabbed one of these and it's a 12 by 12, the wire mesh chicken wire you can use for mixed media. So anyway, sorry if I was talking too fast. I'm just really super excited because... Hobby Lobby's in Oregon. I'm so excited and it's 20 minutes from where I live. So all my girlfriends that I uh, craft with, they live four hours away and I usually travel to them a couple times a year for some big crops because they live in a bigger um, you know, city than I do. And so they have more um, events and things for crafting than what's in, available where I live. And so I'm excited because this summer they're going to pick a weekend and come down to my neck of the woods this time. And um, they're going to spend the weekend and we're going to go hit Hobby Lobby and do some shopping and 
gabbing and laughing and crafting maybe <laughs> you probably just mostly talking and eating and shopping but anyway so i'm really super excited so i just really tried to just buy stuff that was you know hobby lobby specific because it's i've never been able to do that before so there was lots of other goodies there i like you know hide and swap there was tim holtz that kind of thing so it's going to be nice to have a closer um, craft store to go to to buy these things instead of always having to purchase online from the big box stores if i don't have to so, of course, you guys, I will be doing some project shares with everybody um, when I work on some projects and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, I, this is the very first, this is the inaugural video for Hobby Lobby because moving forward, I can go to one whenever I want. And if that's annoying to you guys for me to keep saying that, I'm sorry, but this is exciting. This is like big news in Oregon because <laughs> the closest one to us was in Washington State, which is not even close because it takes like, you know, I don't know. I mean, you couldn't get there in a day and back. You'd have to stay overnight at least because it's quite a drive. But anyway, so I will see you guys later. I got to get my desk cleared off and um, yeah, get going on some design team projects. So happy crafting and watch for another Hobby Lobby haul video from Abby because I can go there now. Yes. <laughs> see you guys next time. Have a good day.